Pinky Promise. So pinky! You do this with a pinky promise. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna be telling you something about myself that you probably didn't know, but you could have and I just forgot that I told you. But what it is is that I am a nerd. I'm all nerded up. Today I'm gonna be telling you guys about how I'm a nerd and how I've grown to become the nerd that I am today. So it all started in middle school. This was when I first realized that I was a nerd. It wasn't all the bullies and everyone else telling me that I was nerd, dorky, or geeky. It was me realizing that I was kind of dorky, geeky, and nerdy. Mm -hmm. I did not like myself for being dorky, nerdy, or geeky. And the thing is, is that I never did anything to fix it. I would try and act cool, and I would try and do things that I didn't like to do, and act like the things I did like to do, that I didn't like to do. Like, I didn't like to do the things I like to do just to be cool, but secretly did the things I like to do while no one was looking. Yeah, does that make sense? So I used to be short, fat, uh, braces, messed up face. You guys probably already knew that part, but did you also know that I used to spend a lot of time watching cartoons, I used to watch anime, I used to read comic books, I used to play chess, I used to be really good at math. I mean, I'm still kind of good at math. I was a straight A student, and it was great for the most part until I actually had to go to school where I had to act like I didn't like that kind of stuff, even though I'm pretty sure people could tell that I was lying about it because I just had nerdy and geeky written all over my face, all up in my face area. But it wasn't until mm, probably high school when I stopped trying to do the whole charade of acting like I didn't like things that I liked and started kind of just accepting myself for who I was. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it wasn't that easy. It took a lot of time to just kind of get comfortable with me and then having to express that with everyone else and be like, hey, I don't care what you say, I'm fine with being who I am, was very hard and it took a lot of time. And once I did start accepting the fact that I was nerdy, geeky, dorky, uncool, whatever you want to say, other people started noticing, like people who were like kind of like me. Other geeky, nerdy, dorky, uncool people. We just kind of started like finding each other, and things just got a lot easier. We just kind of formed this group throughout high school, and it was awesome because we were like concrete. We were okay spending our days talking about anime, playing card games, playing video games, watching anime, reading comic books, studying together, doing projects together, doing homework together. It didn't matter as long as we had each other because this is what my high school was about, the, this group of people. Because if I could go back to middle school, I would tell myself that it's okay to be nerdy, dorky, geeky, and that you don't have to put up this whole charade for everyone else to see when you know deep down that it's not really you and that what you're doing is just taking way too much work. Why spend all this time trying to be this other person that you're not? Spending all this time, all this work and effort trying to show people this person that isn't you when you could be lazy and just be yourself and be okay with it. But the problem is, is that I can't go back in time. I know, I, I tried. <laughs> so I figured I'd just tell you. You nerdy, dorky, geeky, uncool people who are just like me, that it's okay. It's okay to be you. It's okay to be lazy and be who you want to be. Be the guy or girl that people think is uncool or nerdy or dorky or just isn't worth the time. Because to be honest, they're not worth your time. Okay, be yourself. Be that der dorky, nerdy, geeky, cool, awesome person that you are, that you know you are, it's okay. Trust me, school goes by, everything goes by with time, and after a while you're just gonna be happy that you spent that time that you've used being yourself versus trying to be somebody else that you shouldn't even try to be because they're not as cool as you are. Because you're just awesome if you're like nerdy and awesome and dorky and goofy and you know what you want out of because you do dance like this every once in a while because you like to dance a lot. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what you thought about my nerdy vlog that you just watched. 
Was it nerdy enough for you? Were you surprised by the fact that I used to be a nerd and I'm still currently a nerd? Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, that's me. And are you a nerd? Are you geeky, uncool? Or have you been called these? Or are you just awesome? Because you should leave it in the comments below. And if you're nerdy or dorky and you like something nerdy or dorky, let me know. Like an awesome video game or an anime or a card game or something along those lines, let me know so I'll check it out because it's probably awesome. Just like you. So I'll see you guys later. Awesome sauce.